The Bible is a book of faith. And do you know you don't need the Holy Ghost to have faith? I just say something that under religious religious man will begin to tremble. Faith coming by what? Hearing. Hearing. Hearing by what? The people that Yeshua said they had great faith in scriptures, did they have the Holy Ghost? So we don't even completely understand this economic of faith. Because even a non-believer needs faith to even believe. If you believe and then you obey, it is seen as faith. So what is even faith? What is this operation called faith that you don't even need the Holy Ghost in you to have this operation? Faith is the monster seed that bets the kingdom within a man. Faith comes first. Faith fertilizes the ground of a man's heart. Then that man, that man's heart is pliable to the instructions of God. Listen, the spirit of God is the spirit of the commands of God, the daily leadings of God. If you are not one of faith, trust me, you cannot be faithful. How are you known as one who is faithful? You are faithful by your obedience to what God says. How can God give you a spirit to lead you when he knows that you are not even faithful to him? Oh, God, it's like I'm boring you people. When you rise, you will now begin to may God give us understanding. All together. So what is the word of God? This thing, this thing called the word of God. In scriptures, I see Isaiah there. I see Ezekiel there. And all these people we are sharing, they are unique testimonies because they were witnesses. They are, there were things that they had seen and heard and experienced. And these things, they chronicled for future generations to draw inspiration from. But you see, the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of what? Dear. Not his, but dear. Their, their unique testimonies was what helped them to overcome him. So everyone had a unique testimony that empowered him, gave him strength and courage. And with those testimonies, what? They overcame. Every one of us. So your life can actually be a book that another generation can read. Just as they read Isaiah. Just as they read about Jeremiah and his faithfulness to his God. Just as they read about Daniel and his faithfulness to his God. A man can read your life and your life becomes a testimony that can inspire future generations. Not to be like you, but to be what God has called them to what? To be. So I don't want to be like Isaiah. I want to follow God as Isaiah followed God. And even more, but my testimony is not the testimony of Isaiah. It's not the testimony of, of Jeremiah. It's not the testimony of Daniel. My testimony is the testimony of Joel Ogebe and how he walked with God.